In this lesson, we are going to cover basic screen navigation in WinCC Unified. I opened the project from the previous lesson, and underneath the Screens area, there was an existing screen called Screen 1. So I'm going to right-click on this screen and select Rename. I'm going to give it the name Main. This screen is going to be the starting point for our navigation. So I'm going to double-click on Add New Screen. When the new screen comes in, I'm going to right click on it and select rename. And I'm going to call this one Screen Window. The next thing I'm going to do is take a text box and drop that up on the screen, increase the font size, type in my text, and it's going to call Screen Window. I'll position that at the top of the screen. and center it. Next, I will add in a new screen. And this one is going to be called Tools. From the screen window main, I will copy this text. Go back to Tools. Right click Paste. And change the title to say Tools. I'm going to open up the main screen to create the general navigation buttons. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the screen window screen out onto my screen. And when I look at the properties of this button and under events, the release event, the change screen function was added that says change the screen name. And it's going to be the screen name is called screen window. That's going to be visible. And it's going to make that the current screen. Then what I will do is I will select the Tools screen, drag that out onto the screen. And if I look at that, the Release Event, Change Screen, and it's going to display the Tools screen and make that the current screen. Next, I will open up my Screen Window screen. And I want to be able to get back to the main screen from this window during runtime. So what I will do is just drag the main screen out and put that in the upper left hand corner. And then I will copy this button. And I will also put that on the tools screen. I'm going to go back to the screen window screen. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a control that is called a screen window. And I'm just going to drag it out onto the screen. A screen window is for displaying another screen inside of this object. So when I'm on this screen, you know, I called it screen window, but in here I could display additional screens inside this window. So the first thing I will do is go down to the properties and under the appearance for the screen window, there's an option that's called window settings. So I will select the window settings and this is where you can pick the attributes or features for the screen window. For our demonstration, I'm going to select none. Right. And then when I click in the background, all of the features to close and you know have a border, title area, those have all disappeared. Select the screen window. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And there's a size and position area. The first thing that I want to do is set where the screen window is going to start. So I'm going to say at position 133 is going to be the left position. The top position is going to be 43. And then I'm going to set the height and width. So the height is going to be 435. And the width is going to be 665. So that screen window now occupies the lower right hand corner of the screen that I called screen window. I need two screens or I want to have two screens that I can display inside of the screen window. So I'm going to double click Add New Screen. First screen, I'm going to rename it. And it's going to be called Body 1. And I'm going to go to the size and position for this screen. And I'm going to change the height to be 431. 
and I'm going to change the width to be 661. So that occupies a smaller portion you know, of the screen resolution of our MTP700 unified panel. So I'm going to scroll up to the properties and change the background color. So I'm going to pick a light blue color. And then I can go to one of the previous screens and copy the text object for the title. And I'll put that back on the body screen. So right click paste. Double click on this. Change the text. And center it. So this is going to be the body one screen. I want to have a second screen that I can switch to. So I'll right click on this screen, select copy. I'll right click on screens and select paste. I will rename this screen and it's going to be called body two. So I'm going to make sure that I open up the body two screen. I will change the label so that it's going to be called body two. And I will change the background color so it's a little bit different. Just make it a little bit darker blue. Next, when the body two screen is displayed in the screen window, I would like to be able to switch to the body one screen. So what I will do is I will just drag the screen body one out and I'll just put that. Actually, I'll just put it in the middle of the screen here. Or bottom middle. And I'm going to look at the events for this. So it's saying to change the current screen so it will switch this screen to body one inside of that screen window. I'll copy this. I will open up the body one screen. Right click paste. And I will change this text to say body two. And I will change the release event so the screen name here is going to be body two. I will go back to my main screen. So I'm going to open up my screen window screen. I'm going to put the navigation now on the screen window screen to be able to switch the body screens back and forth inside of this screen window. So I will select the body screen and drag that out onto the screen. And I'm going to look at the properties of this button and then go to the release events. This time, for my screen window path, instead of going to the current screen, I'm going to change this to be a screen window. Then I have to select the name of the screen window. So this object here is called screen window underscore one. So that is the screen window path that I want to switch the screen. And I'm going to put the body one screen inside of this screen window. So I will right click, copy, right click, paste, change the text to be body two, change the release event on this one to go to body two. And I will go back to my main screen. And now I will start the simulation to test our screen navigation. So I highlight the HMI, select Start Simulation. I will go to the runtime values, uncheck Keep Current User, in user Information Data in Runtime, and select Load. I will start my web browser. Enter in my admin user, log in as HMI12345, select sign in, and now I can test out the screen navigation. So I will select the tool screen, and now I can see I switch to the tool screen, I press the main button, I can navigate back, I will select the screen window screen. When I come to this screen, there is not a screen that's displayed inside of this screen window object. You can set a default screen in the properties of it. What I did is I'm going to select 
the body one, and now I switch screens to body one, body two, and I can switch those screens. Now in this case, I'm on the body two screen, but I've got a button here that would allow me to switch to the body one screen. So when I press this button, when I said to change the current screen, it's just changing the screen inside of the screen window versus changing the overall higher level screen. Now if I'm on body one, I can select body two. So in this lesson, I covered basic screen navigation in WinCC Unified.